Hello, my little gravy boats. Today we are making this build right here behind me. It's so beautiful. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? So this here is what we're going to start with. I've got this three block here in the center and then right in the center of that center <laughs> is going to be the doorway. And then we've got these here just for like little accents and then this is pushed in by one block and then here's what I've got going on for the roof so I just started here in this corner and then built up by one I'll actually go ahead and redo this to show you guys so I start by building out by two blocks there in that corner and come across this way yes I know scaffolding exists but I'm old school and I do not use it <laughs> so then we're gonna come over this way and come up two blocks that way and we'll do the same on the other side and then we'll do the same at this level here and then we'll just cap it off at the top just like that and then to get the overhang I just have the two blocks there and then increase this one by one that one by two and then this one out so that it's overhanging all of it and then that's what it looks like so we're building it out of dirt first because it's just easier to have it that way and then we can replace the blocks here in a little bit but the other thing that we have to do is get a roof on this side as well now I want it to be two different sizes so I'm thinking we're gonna go a little bit smaller with this side so we're gonna pillar up here after we get our two blocks in the corners <laughs> So we're going to pillar up here and I think we're going to come up just the one like this. So this one's going to be a bit shorter and then to, to make that come out we're just going to increase by one and then this one will be increased by the two and that one will come all the way out and let's we'll see let's see what that looks like if that's all right. Ooh, get rid of that block. There we go. It looks kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, we could bring this one up by two. Come in just for one. And then come over top like that. Alright, that's better. Yeah, it's going to be just like one block shorter. Yeah, I think it's only just one block shorter. But that might be alright. Because I don't want to make this side a, like way too big. So I think we'll stick with just the one block shorter for over here. It's not going to matter too, too much because in the back on this side here, we're going to have a tower. So this will be pretty tall. Okay, and then the next step we're going to do is work on connecting these. We just want to find the lines that we want to connect. Like how this house over here, we just come across from these connecting blocks like this. And you don't want the lines to be too, too straight because then it, I feel like it'd look kind of funny. So we'll probably tweak it just a little bit when we start adding the actual roof blocks. But just for a rough kind of outline that we're looking for, I'm thinking this is going to be good. And then we'll come down one and come across this way like that. And then it'll just be mirrored on this other side. And then we just do the same thing to this side of the roof. Okay, and this step is just replacing the dirt here on the outermost edge. And for this, I always build it with the block variation already because it's just a pain to add it in afterwards. So I just kind of place random blocks of whatever I'm using for the roof. And then for this, I just come out like this. And on here, we're going to have a stair, which I don't have one on me. I'm going to grab one real quick. We're just going to do the stair like that. And here's our roof. So we've got this section done. And then we've got to do this side real quick. So I'm going to do that. And then when we come back, I'll show you guys what to do with these beams that go across like this. So I realized that I wasn't recording while I did this bit. But... <laughs> Now we've got our lines done and this is what they should be looking like for the most part. 
And then over here, we're going to have our tower. Um, I was saying that we're going to make this out of the stripped warped logs. I was using the hyphae ones so that we don't have a beginning or end, but this section necessarily doesn't really matter because you're not going to see the tops or the bottoms or anything like that. So you could just use the regular stuff. Uh, but I'm also saying that I don't know how tall I want it to be. Um, we're basically just going to keep going until I'm satisfied with the height. <laughs> uh, but I want it to be decently tall. I don't know, maybe like yay tall or so. Because we've also got to take into account the roof section that we're going to put on it, which is going to look kind of like this. Yeah, it'll be something kind of like that. But yeah, I got to collect some more of the warped logs and then I will be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm thinking that this is going to be the height that we're going to go for for the tower. And then obviously right on top here, we're going to put our roof, which will make it a fair bit taller as well. So I'm thinking the main part, that's going to be good. I also think that I messed up this section here a little bit. I made this a bit wider. So I think it's going to affect how this looks. Oh yeah, that looks funky. <laughs> so I think I'm going to take down these two sides and just move them in uh, one side each so that they're spaced the same as this is here on each side. And then we should be good to go on that front. And then all we have left to do is fill in our walls and our roof. And then we can start building the roof on top of the tower. All right, I did get that fixed. And now I'm thinking for filling in the roof here, like we have on this side, we're gonna use this same block palette with the concrete, concrete powder and white wool. And then for the walls of this main building, we're going to stick with the deep slate like we have with this house. But I'm thinking for the tower, we're going to try to use maybe some calcite, some of the concrete, maybe the powder. We're going to make it look, I think, white. We want the inside of this to be white. So we're going to try different variations of that. I didn't want to do just this because I feel like it would match too much with this. So I'm thinking... We're going to throw in some calcite instead of using diorite because I think diorite's a bit too harsh of a texture. So I'm going to head to the shopping district real quick. I'm going to buy some calcite because I definitely don't have any of that. <laughs> and then I'll be back to show you guys how we're going to fill in the walls of the main house and our tower. Okay, so we're going to start building up our walls like this. I just do the variated deep slate bricks here in the front and then we'll do it here on the side. So I do mostly the regular deep plate bricks and then just add in a couple of these other variants here and there. And then as for the way that we're going to connect these roofs over here, going to take some slabs and we're pretty much just going to do how we did it for the roof part with the differing levels, just so that we have a little bit more of the variation going on like that. And then this side will do that kind of thing to connect up to the tower once we get the walls in on the tower. Same with this side here. So this side of the wall right here, these three blocks, we're going to go ahead and use our regular bricks, just like that. And then all we have left is this side here. And I know there's dirt in there, but it's not going to be seen, so does not matter to me. All right, now we have our main house walls completed. So we're just going to go ahead and start building up the walls on the tower. And for that, I've got all of our materials in here. I've got some of the white wool, white concrete, the concrete powder, and calcite. So I don't think we're gonna be using the white wool in the walls. We might just for a different kind of texture, but we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff back in as much as we can fit. And we're gonna give this a go yep there we go all right let's try to do some of this now and it's gonna start here so we can just start with this kind of pattern here do a calcite and then we do want to have at least one window on the bottom section and then one on the top section i'm thinking 
Now, I don't really have a specific kind of formula, if you will, that I follow for this. I just kind of place the random blocks and then I will go back and when I look at it, I'll see if I like it and replace anything that I need to. So we'll just do this side here as a test side and see if we end up liking it or not. And then we can change whatever we need to a bit later. All right, so how are we feeling about that? Hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like the circle is going to be a bit too small. It's going to be a very, I don't know, pointy circle. And this is the part of the video where my brain and I are slapping each other because I totally forgot to record anything else <laughs> other than the end result and some of the failed attempts that I had at making this tower because good lord, was it a bit difficult to get this just how I wanted it to be. So the next clips are going to be of what I did with the tower before it became what it is now. So enjoy. Okay guys, so this is what I've got so far, but I think this is coming together. I usually don't do the detailing stuff until afterwards, but I wasn't liking how it was looking. So I wanted to do a little bit of the detail stuff just to see how it would turn out. And I definitely think that it's going to be really nice once this is done. Now we're going to go ahead and do the roof part. All right, so for this, we want to do from the top down. And up here, we're going to have to make all of these full blocks, except for here, we could do this if we wanted to, which I do usually just to give it a little bit more variation. So basically what we're trying to do here is just connect up all of the roof bits. So it'll look kind of like this. Now, once we add in everything, we could go in and do different things like this, just to add a bit more variation in the levels, stuff like that. And then for this section here, we're gonna take that piece out and we're gonna just fill in this gap part here. And then this section here, we're gonna just bring down. So then your roof will be looking a bit like this, minus this dirt block, of course. <laughs> but yeah, if there's anything that you want to adjust, so like adding a piece there, I don't really like this copper right here. So we'll take that away. A lot of it is just doing stepping back looking at it and seeing if you like it and then going back in and adding if you don't. And then just that one that's added there, I already like it 10 times better. So you just have to go ahead and do that on all of the sides. This side's going to be pretty much the same as this side difficulty wise. And same with this, like it's just going right into this tower here, which we have to do the wall on the inside here still. I didn't get to do that part just yet. All right, so now that we've got this part of the wall done for here, we can go ahead and get this stuff together. So we want to just do some variation with this. Don't be afraid to take it down different levels as well. Make it go up and down pretty far if you want to, just like this. And then this side of the roof looks like this. Okay guys, this is done. And I am so very happy with how it turned out. I've got all of the detailing done, so we'll go ahead and go through some of the little detailing things that I did. So this you can kind of see because I'm in spectator, but I used an armor stand with one of the wither heads on the top to make it look like it was hanging from the chain. It won't do that regularly because it just... I don't know, it's weird and doesn't connect to the chain for some reason. And I put some of the weeping vines here. I use some walls, the deep slate tile ones, some pots with fungi in them, and some fences, trap doors, lanterns, candles, stuff like that. And over here I have this little patch of soul soil with a wither rose on top. And then this is this side. Not too, too much going on on this side. And then over here I have a couple more soul soil patches and the lantern and some of the twisting vines. And then our tower here, I used the crimson door just to make it a bit more, I guess, varied in textures and colors. <laughs> and I just put fences and stuff going up this way. And then here's another one of the armor stands. Uh, I just put it on a trap door so that it looks like the head is connected to that chain. And then this side. And then up here I made this little like balcony kind of thing with a wither rose in there. And then one over on this side. Yeah, the inside's not done just yet. I haven't gotten a chance to do that. So we'll go ahead and go into survival. 
I'll turn that off. <laughs> uh, this is mini HUD, by the way. It's super, super helpful. You can toggle the light levels on so that you can see where you need to light it up. And in the top left corner, it gives you some other info, like your cords and stuff like that. And you don't have to use F3, so that's really nifty. Um, I also got some flint in invisible item frames on the paths here, just to give them a little extra detail, because they looked really plain before. And I actually really like the way that the flint looks on the basalt. It's really cool. Now that I'm not in spectator, you can see, like, you can't see the armor stand at all. And it looks really cool. It just looks like there's a head hung on a chain. <laughs> and yeah, that's this building. So I'm really happy with it. And I've also started building this one over here. I don't know what this is going to be. Probably just like a regular house uh, like this one was. But yeah, I got rid of the villager breeder here. I got rid of our other farms except for this one that I use to get eggs, which I have a video coming up uh, here pretty soon about how to get wither roses pretty easy. And it does involve chicken eggs. So that's what I left that for. <laughs> and I also got this a little bit more, I guess, in theme because it was just a bridge before for the villager breeder to transport all of them over into the trading hall thing. But now it just looks like an overpass kind of thing thing. I don't really know what to call that. <laughs> but yeah. And ooh! Oh my goodness! Look at all these sea lanterns! Oh, this makes me so happy! Oh, that's so awesome! Thank you! <laughs> uh, but a couple other things that I think I should point out really quickly is James has expanded this quite a bit. <laughs> and the villager breeder was moved outside. And downstairs, uh, under there, is where he moved all of the melon, pumpkin, sugarcane, cactus <laughs> sorting system thing. And this is going to be getting torn down and turned into another house. And I've got some stuff going on over here as well. This is an outline for another project I'm going to be building over here. He left the sea pickle farm on. <laughs> so we're going to turn that off. And he built some of these farms over here. Now, he did say before that he wanted to move all of the farms outside, but I guess he changed his mind. <laughs> so we've got potato and carrot over here, I believe. There's going to be a video on what this is going to be. I want to try to make it a little build tutorial kind of thing, so that's why it's only a ring of dirt pretty much at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please demolish the like button gently. And if you want to as well, you can become a little gravy boat. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!